Hello guys, I'm Gary from Sensors Tech Forum and this video is about the ransomware crypt XXX. Keep watching and understand how to remove it from your PC and restore your .crypt files for free. Fancy will demonstrate the method. But first, let me tell you how crypt XXX infects the system. The first stage of infection is opening a malicious link or attachment from a spam message. Then the ransomware may delete backups and encrypt the files with strong cipher, making them unable to be opened. Next, the crypto malware drops a ransom note with links that have instructions on how to pay the ransom money and restore the files. The good news is that you don't have to pay to get your files back. Now Vency will demonstrate what you need to do. Hello guys, this is Vency at Sensors Tech Forum and I'm gonna take you through the removal and the decryption of the files encrypted by the Crypt Triple X ransomware. Now, to do that, you're gonna need two things. The first one is an anti-malware tool which will discover its files and also the registry objects and remove them. I've decided to use this program because it's really simple to use. Uh, actually, I gotta do is click scan computer now and uh, wait for the program to take care of it all. At uh, first, the program is gonna scan and find the threads, then it's gonna ask you to click on the fix threads button, and after that, it's gonna take care of all, all the threads for you by removing them, and those threads that can be removed, it's gonna reset your computer. Now, we've decided to pause this video to skip a bit of time because the fixing process may take some time. That's why we're gonna pause it here. Alright, so after the program has deleted some of the files, it's gonna ask for a system reboot to try and delete other malicious files on a boot time scan. Uh, it's very simple, actually all you gotta do is click on that button you just saw, and after that your computer is gonna restart. On the system restart, uh, I have to say while we are waiting here, yeah, you can see here that it says Pi 104, and you're gonna have to click on that, and then it's gonna enter in the boot time scan option. Uh, what it does is before Windows starts, uh, the tool begins to scan your file system and your uh, registry entries for malicious objects and it's gonna remove them on system startup. Yeah, you can see here, file successfully deleted and etc. Okay, so basically that uh, takes care of the removal for you. Now all you gotta do is decrypt your files. Fortunately for CryptXXS, uh, you have, uh, you have uh, a decryptor developed by Kaspersky. You can find the link in the description below. Uh, and basically, it's gonna take a while to decrypt your files because uh, the malware uses a strong algorithm and you're gonna need to modify your power settings. Now to do that, just enter your power settings options and set everything to never because if the PC scans for a lot of time, it's gonna probably hibernate or sleep automatically. As you can see here, you also have additional power plant settings. Uh, you can also, if you're using an older version than Windows 10, you can also find it by control panel, hardware and sound, power options. And then you just have to go to your plan settings by clicking on change plan settings and set everything to never there as well. And also make sure to, to click on the, the advanced power settings so that you can set up the hard disk to also not fall asleep after a while. As you can see, it's a bit concealed, but it may save you a lot of headaches, so I recommend doing that, definitely. Set it everything to zero, so it becomes never, and then click on the apply button. Yeah, of course, you can also check other settings as well here, just in case. After you click on OK and apply, everything should be fine here. And now you can proceed with the decryption. The decryption process is rather simple. Simply open the decryptor, After which, it's gonna ask you to start scanning for files. And you're gonna have to click on the start scan option. After which, a file explorer will pop up. And this file explorer will ask you to choose one encrypted file as well as one original file. 
okay so after you do this it's gonna start decrypting the data it, it may it may take some time for you and uh, yeah basically that's all folks uh, I really hope this tutorial helps you and good luck with your file decryption. Thanks for watching guys. We hope this is useful. Feel free to like and comment. And in case you want to see more removal tutorials, leave a comment and we'll try and help.